Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces. And you know, we get asked a lot about, can you paint brick? And the answer is, yes you can. So I'm actually here today at a fantastic client's house, Jennifer, and we, you can kind of see from the fireplace decor what we're going for. Grays, beiges, blacks, you can kind of see in the carpet. Um, you know, very kind of like Joanna Gaines style, farmhouse. Modern. Um, so this red brick just was not working with the decor. So how am I going to transform this brick? So this is so easy. It should be illegal. I mean, it's ridiculously easy. So what I did, you can kind of see I started here. I'm just dry brushing. So you need, you know, very little supplies for this. You need some chip brushes, which everything that I talk about is available for purchase at sweetpieces.com. We will create a collection link on this video so you can just click on the link and it will bring you to everything that you need. So you're going to need some chip brushes. I always have a couple of different sizes on hand. These are two inches. These are four inches. Um, you're going to need a couple of colors of paint. So what I'm using here today is Jolie paint in linen, um, which is what you see here on the fireplace already. I'm now going to add French gray on top of this. And then the last color that I'm going to do is the Jolie paint in pure white. So let me just show you here how I'm going to do this. Well, let me show you. I'll show you the first coat first. So here is the linen. And I, I pour this out on a plate whenever I'm working with a four inch chip brush because my brush is not going to fit in my can. So I just kind of dab this out. Now, if I'm dry brushing on a piece of furniture, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to have the paint this heavy. But for this particular technique, because the brick is so textured and I really, I don't really want a lot of that red showing through, I'm going to dip my my paint in here and I'm going to kind of leave it heavy. I'm going very softly, you know, and then I'll kind of add the pressure on once I know how much paint is on my brush. And you know, what direction do you go in? It really doesn't matter if you're doing this like heavy type of a dry brush technique. So I'm just gonna kind of fill this in. I am brushing the grout just a little bit. I don't need a ton on there, but I just want a little bit of the color. I'll go back to my plate, which I'm gonna need to add more paint to, and I'm gonna continue. So that's basically the first coat. So once that's dry, which is gonna take probably I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how heavy you go. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and layer my second color. So in this case, it's the French gray, and I just have a little bit poured out on my plate. I'm gonna dip my brush in here. I am gonna offload just a little bit, like I don't want it in blobs on there, but I do want the brush to have like a decent amount of paint. And now again, I'm just gonna go very lightly. So. I'm just going light and do you see how this is just adding like another layer of texture here and then once this dries then i'll just go over it with the white so let's see if we can get that to dry quickly so i can show you what the third coat looks like so you know what colors do you use you can really use any colors you want um i just know from lots of experience that these three colors are going to create the look that our client wants. Um, I did show her some photos of um, some other pieces that we did and some other fireplaces that I found online. Um, and this is basically the tone. We have some gorgeous reupholstered wingback chairs that are gonna come in here um, later today. And they're going on either side of the fireplace. She did them in like a linen, color with um, a plaid on the back and the seat and some nail heads and they are just going to be so pretty and complement this so nicely. So do you see here how we ha it looks a little bit darker, a little duller, and then once we add that French gray on top, it kind of pops out these bricks a little bit. It's still a little wet, so we'll have to give a pause here until we're ready to go. Okay, so we're back. We let this dry for a few minutes, probably 10 minutes. I actually have a little fan with me. I threw that on as well. Um, so now we have layered linen and French gray. And now we're gonna add pure white. And this is basically 
um, it's just gonna make it pop really nicely. So I'm putting a little bit on my brush. I'm offloading it a little bit right onto the same plate just so I don't have a lot of clumps in there. And now I'm very lightly, I do suggest that you practice this a little bit because tr dry brushing, it can be, um, you know, if you, if you put way too much paint on there, it's very hard to take it away. So you wanna just make sure that you're being very, very light-handed. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna lightly brush here. And I'm really gonna just focus on getting this on the brick as opposed to the grout. The other two colors, I was rubbing the brush in between the grout. If a little bit catches on here with the white, I'm okay with that. But I'm gonna kind of focus on just keeping it on the brick so that the grout kind of still has some depth to it so it doesn't look all the same color. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of out of paint there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And again, I'm very lightly, I'm barely kissing this. I'm just, you know, very lightly brushing it with my paintbrush. You know, and what a transformation is that? I mean, it's so, so super simple. Um, I think this took me all of I don't know, it's probably gonna take me about an hour or two for the whole entire fireplace. Um, so it's really very, very simple to do an update like this. And it will definitely make a very big impact in the room for very, very little money. So I would highly suggest if you're thinking about doing your brick, go for it. Before we end, I wanna just mention one other thing. There is another technique that you can do with brick and that would be like washing it. So what you would do is you would just get a spray bottle with some water and as you're doing this whole process, you would just be spritzing the brick and blending the paint into the bricks. So with that effect, you're not gonna see like this um, definitive texture like between the colors, it's more gonna blend in. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna post a photo on our Facebook and Instagram page just showing the two different types of brick that you can paint, whether you're whitewashing or if you're doing a layered dry brush effect so that you can see the difference. Um, but it's really just preference, you know, what do you prefer? So definitely jump on our Facebook or Instagram page and check that out. And if you're thinking about painting your brick, just go for it. Pop into the store, stop by Huntington, we'll walk you through it, or just jump online and shop in your jammies at 2 a.m. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now.